Good morning, good morning, good morning. I woke up, started doing my thing, answering emails, working on projects, and this thought ran through my head. So many emails, and it's like, how do you do this? How do you do this? How do you start a business? How do you do the thing with storage options? How do you do Craigslist? And I thought, there's something that's missing. We we're putting the cart before the horse. It should be, why should you start a business? Why should you go to storage auctions? Why should you go and do these things? Because the big deal is, if you don't have a strong compass of internal motivation, whatever you start, I don't care how great the information is, it's going to stop very shortly after you start. Shortly being anywhere from a week to six months. You're just going to stop because you're doing it. You're, you're looking at the how. Because I've looked at some people. I'm a member of several Facebook groups. And there is a small circle of familiar, well, there's a, there's a circle of familiar faces. And I see people who are asking similar questions they were asking a year ago. Then I see people who just started with a strong commitment, a strong level of effort who are doing more in six months than these people have done in two or three or four years. And it's because they have a strong internal compass that's guiding them. I'm telling you, there are so many folks who are looking for the magic jelly bean solution versus really taking time out like, why am I doing this? Why am I starting a business? If you ask me and Glenn, then why do you have your own business? I'll tell you me, freedom. It, it, I don't even think about it. I do this for freedom, freedom of choice, freedom of to live where the fuck I want to live. I do this for freedom, not money. You have to clearly make that distinction in your mind. No one else has to understand it. You have to understand it. Other people outside of you may understand it, but if you don't understand it, you're not going to get it. You are going to be lost. You will be that ship without a rudder, just floating around in the ocean of life, just like, uh, wherever I land is good, man. Karma's going to get me there. Probably not. That's a romantic notion. But why should you start a business? This is what I want you to do. Take some time out and think about your life. Some of the most successful entrepreneurs I know did what they're doing for their families. They had a strong internal compass. It, you know, then there's other people who did stuff for cars or a certain house or a certain lifestyle. The motivation has to be deep, 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 deep. So sit down, pen, paper, iPad, whatever you want to use, apps, whatever, and ask yourself, why should you start a business for your life where you are doing what you are doing? Because if you don't answer that why at some point, the how doesn't matter. I've seen that uh, so many times. And the thing is, now that I'm getting statistics and evidence and there's some people that, like I said, they're a member of every freaking Facebook group. And I'm just sitting there like, this is so much information for you to absorb. Now, my social media schedule is different from most people. I have social media timeouts where... I just zoom out of most groups, sign out a Facebook account. I turned off the Facebook app on my iPhone and there are certain groups that are better than others. There are certain groups that has more participation than others. And I've noticed that the groups that the people are really, really putting in work, the level of infighting is nil. The people who are bullshitting, the fighting, the in, it's, it's all the time. It's kind of crazy. And I thought about it. When you're busy, you don't have time for all that mess. You really don't. You just don't. And so if you are looking in a Facebook group or some group, look at the level of animosity and people like throwing flame bombs. That's going to tell you a lot about that group. Because the best groups that I'm a member of, and like I said, I'm not saying names or anything because then it becomes this competition level. 
but the infighting, the bullshit, the craziness is non-existent. And that goes for some of my writing groups. It's just not there because everybody is trying to get better. So think about that when you join a group and you're getting information. Now, today is a different day. Today is a very special day because I'm going into the second phase of the Hustle Mindset Project. It's totally some, it's to, some stuff that's totally, totally different because I focused on the hustler part for the first year. And I will continue to do that. But we're about to go deep and wide with the mindset because some of the things that I've been able to accomplish in these last four years, you know, these for some people, these are like lifetime goals, you know, to write a book. It's still big stuff for a lot of people because, yes, there's Kindle and, yes, there's uh, print on demand, POD printing. There's all the stuff that makes it easier to deliver a book, but you still have to write it. You still have to market. There's so many other things, but it's from that mindset. It's from that hustler mindset aspect, and it's about to get really, really off the chain in the Hustler Mindset Project because today I'm going to, I've got a new course and no, you can't sign up. If you want to be alerted when this will drop, just hit that email list below and uh, whenever I get ready to make that decision, I'll let you know. But a lot of cool stuff's about to drop off and I'm going to activate some stories this month because you know, I've been really, really busy. So the next channel, there will be some stories. So a lot of good stuff. But back to you. Back to you. Why do you want to start a business? The why. If you're saying, I'm broke. That's motivation. But it's going to be a short-term deal. Because the minute that you are unbroke, you're going to lose your motivation. So I'm going to sprinkle some seeds. I want to start a business to help as many people as possible. That's going to have way more legs. <laughs> it's going to last. It's going to last many years. So invert your thought process on get away from yourself and think about how many people you can serve, how many people you can make happy, how many problems you can solve. Start thinking like that and your business will take on a different life and it will be much better and more sustainable seriously more sustainable because when you do that you don't make yourself irrelevant when you create a product or a service that doesn't help a lot of people it's not going to last long and you can make a lot of money doing that with quick products quick things fad things uh in one of my groups someone had mentioned these little bands with rubber bands and stuff and like that's it's a fad for kids but if you got in early and you're working it now, you can make a lot of money. So just because it's temporary doesn't mean it's a bad business. But if you're thinking long term, you're thinking, what can you build that's going to last five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years? Then you're gonna just go, it's just going to be a much more enjoyable ride. All right. This is Glenn Cameron. I'll see you on the good side.